Hi, my name is Thomas O'Rourke and we are going to present our work on a new system for the NSU Nursing Department. I will be presenting the team members of our group and what parts they worked on. I myself will be doing the introduction outro of our presentation, Diane Ewan will be doing the statement of problem, Bria Bethley will be presenting the proposed solution, John Dim will present the budget and final numbers, Brandon Smith will show our prototype and how it works, and Trevin Whitaker will show the recommendations. Thank you for being here and please enjoy. Hi, I'm Diane Nguyen. For this project, I work on the significant strategy statement, use case description, class diagram, and communication diagram. And the statement of the problem for this project is that there is a need for an easily accessible database for in the College of Nursing and Line Health for administrator, instructor, and student. So the database needs to be easily accessible 24-7. The flow of the system needs to be easily to navigate and also how to produce files, reports, and assessment within the database. That is the statement of the problem for this project. Hello, my name is Bree Bethley. I was responsible for the work timeline, the feasibility analysis, the object diagram, and the secret diagrams. I will be explaining our proposed solution for the NSU LA document repository and evaluation tool for the nursing school. Our tool will be web-based, meaning the front end will be coded in HTML and CSS, and the back end will be a database controlled by SQL. We will have account-based access control, meaning the amount of content a user can access is dependent on their role. For example, an administrator can access more than a user with the role of student. The web, web application will be 24-7 access. We hope that there will be minimal downtime and maintenance will be during times of low traffic. The web application will have the following, following features including a web search based on keywords and file extensions, editable and downloadable print and printable reports, a notes functions all users can use. This function will be different for each role and each user can use the notes feature for each file. Hello, my name is John Den and I'll be presenting my portion of the CIS 3900 project. Here I will be discussing the budget, total cost, break-even point, and benefits. So for total cost, we have on the website, database, and maintenance costs. Our budget will be $25,000 to implement everything, including the website, which will be HTML and CSS based. Our database will be SQL based, and the maintenance fees, I mean the maintenance, sorry, will be monthly to ensure that any problems, errors, or bugs will be addressed. Our break even point will come by yearly tuitions for nursing students. Nursing students will have to pay a service fee or a tuition fee for $60 a year and students that are completing a four-year term for their bachelor's in nursing will be able, an estimate of about 100 students will be able to pay off the entire system. So with that said, 100 students that start and finish nursing school will come out to be a little over uh, past our break-even point which will be helpful to the maintenance and such and updates to our system. And our benefits include that after the four-year term we'll be able to address any quality of life, errors and bugs, and any new features that will be implemented into our system. We'll have monthly maintenances and uh, updates as as uh, they come by. We will uh, send off a quick update for any bugs or errors within our security system and the after the four-year term when the system is paid off we will be able to add all the new features including quality of life and such. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Brandon Smith. I'm working with group three. Uh, my task for this presentation was to present the prototype that we designed for the document repository for the College of Nursing. Uh, and what I did was I designed a website style 
system database in which the individuals that logged in were able to access the files, modify them, and re-upload the changed files in, under new names, of course, um, so that others could access the same file and see the changes, and that way the instructors could then grade the changes as our uh, instructions told us to do. And as, as well, anybody with admin privileges would then be able to create new instructors, create new students, and, and do any modifications or adaptations that they want to to the website as uh, stated or viewed in our activity and use case diagrams. And what I did was I have it set up just like the web, a website would. You have the name up here and of course you've got the links. We're on the home page. Anybody can access the home page. Anybody can access the contact us page. And the contact us page I'll show you is just going to have a link where you can visualize this information you can input all this information if you were to need to get in contact with the creator of the website which is me in this case because I have it up here and down there um, in addition we have like I said the home screen and once you get to the home screen there if you scroll down you can see a login sign up point link and once you click on that I'll, it brings you to the login page you cannot access any of the other links without having a login as you can see if i click on student it takes you to the same thing and so on and so forth so i'm going to log in with the link that i created with my uh, email and password and then I'll show you the rest of the site. So that was just a demonstration to show you that it does work. I have a working uh, program going. And like I said, you can now access the student side. You can access the documents and, and there is a place to upload the files. Very simple, very basic. For anyone to then access the instructor side or the admin side, there are separate passwords so that the person that's the instructor can access the admin and the person that's the admin can access everybody. Um, but you have a separate login for each one. Now, of course, for that to work, the admin would need to know everybody's password, but uh, in a real life situation, it would be designed where they would have a back, uh, back door into things. So like I said, I think I clicked on the um, instructor link, so I'm gonna type in the password for that so you can see how it works. It's very simple. I didn't make it complicated. The password is instructor with a capital I. And I must have mistyped it. There we go. And so it's going to look a little, everything like the student page does. You can still access the same medical reports. And again, if new reports were uploaded, they would also be able to see those reports because these are, these are basically duplicated pages just with different uh, credentials to get into. And I'll show you that we do have a working uh, link here to our medical report, just so you know that we did actually take time to find one and make one. And when you open it, it just shows you an existing medical report in uh, a Word document file. And so once you see, you see that, you can make changes to it and add little notes or whatever changes you for for the changes that you made and then when you get done you just save it and upload it back to the site and so like i said this is a very simple basic design but it covers all the uh crc cards all the use cases that we intended to 
include in our document repository. So I thank you for viewing my portion of the website, I mean of the uh, presentation, and have a good evening. Hi, my name is Trevin Whitaker, and I'll be discussing our recommendations for the nursing document repository. Uh, let me go ahead and bring up the PowerPoint slide here. Uh, first, uh, we'd like to say that Northwestern is already using Microsoft Office 365, I believe, or Microsoft Azure, uh, which have web hosting capabilities. So our website and database would migrate into Northwestern system pretty easily. And with that being said, we can tie that to Active Directory, which uses uh, LDAP, uh, Lightweight Directory uh, Access Protocol, uh, for users' access. Uh, that would give the administrator uh, easy access or easy control uh, to provide users access to uh, our database or for, nur for nursing students, the administrator, the instructors, the students, and so forth. Uh, we recommend two terabytes of data uh, of terabyte, uh, two to 10 uh, terabytes of data storage uh, to hold the, the pictures and videos that the nursing student will need to view and pull information from. Uh, network bandwidth for the campus, we recommend uh, at least 100 uh, to 1,000 megabits per second. We prefer that. Uh, also, anybody working outside of the campus uh, at home for their internet service provider, we prefer uh, cable internet service providers such as like uh, Infinity. Comcast Infinity or DSL, uh, AT&T DSL. You also have uh, uh, satellite connections out there as well. Uh, that concludes the recommendations and we'll head over for any questions that you guys might have. That was our presentation on the system for Northwestern State University's nursing department. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, now is the time to ask them and we will answer them to the best of our ability. Thank you.